Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the commonly used uh, Docker commands uh, when you work on uh, uh, Docker containers and other stuff, right? So uh, let me minimize my recording window. Uh, let's we start this. Uh, so basically, uh, when you when you install a Docker, uh, say example, if you want to know the version of Docker uh, uh, engine we installed, so you need to actually uh, use this command. Uh, sudo docker uh, space hyphen hyphen version version which will give the docker version which you installed so in my system i installed docker version 19.03.5 uh, okay and there is another command similar command to find out the version which is uh, uh, sudo space docker space hyphen b which all, which will also give the uh, docker uh, engine which is installed on your machine so then there is a command called uh, uh, a sudo space a docker a space info which will give the a detailed information about the docker engine which you installed on the machine so basically why i am appending sudo here is so basically the my current user which is a data making it's uh, not part of the uh, group uh, docker so basically when you install a docker you uh, by default it will create a group called docker so what are the user which, which is added to the docker group which will have uh, ability to run uh, docker commands without sudo okay that's why i'm adding uh, sudo before the commands okay so you can actually find out the detailed uh, uh, information about the docker engine which you install it and then uh, there is a, a very useful command which is help command so if you want to find out the uh, uh, information about the particular command you want to run so basically you can say uh, sudo space docker iPhone, uh, iPhone, uh, space iPhone, iPhone help. So, which will give the list of Docker commands which is available. Okay. Which will give you like this similarly. So, you can just go and check how do you run the other commands in the Docker, like uh, info we run now, right? Similarly, we are going to use all this uh, uh, pull command and the ps command list containers. So, all this we are going to see this in this. Uh, uh, the commonly used commands okay so help is very uh, handy command to use it um, so it is giving the all the information now i'm going to use the command called images like uh, so how many images available in your uh, docker uh, engine it is going to uh, show you here so it is going to get the uh, images from the uh, local registry and it will going to show you the so basically when i installed uh, docker i uh, for the verification testing purpose i actually uh, downloaded the uh, image called uh, all over which is uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, free image available in the docker hub so you can i downloaded and ran it to test the docker engine which is installed on my machine so that's why i see when i type a sudo space docker space images this images which is there in my local uh, uh, registry it is showing here so We'll also try to uh, pull uh, some other image and we'll check how it is showing. Okay. So the next uh, Andy command is basically you want actually now I want to pull some image from the Docker app, right? So if you want to just uh, uh, find out the list of uh, um, images available for specific topic, right? So example for Python. So Python there are n number of uh, um, um, there are many. Uh, images available in the uh, docker hub right so you can actually search uh, you can give command called uh, uh, sudo space docker space search and give the python so these are the uh, uh, images available in names of python in the docker hub so you can choose whatever you want so i'm going to choose the the official uh, uh, the docker image which is uh, python okay so how do you how do you get so you can just uh, open your docker hub if you want to verify you can verify you open docker hub and type python in the search window so you get this lot of uh, uh, images so this first image we are going to uh, run it okay so how do you how do you get that image so you need to run the command called sudo space docker space pull the image name and also you can give colon tag name if you want to get the specific uh, uh, um, uh, image name so if you don't specify the tag name uh, after the image name colon uh, tag name it is going to get the latest uh, uh, image from that okay latest tag okay so after uh, image is uh, pulled okay which basically it will download it will download it it will add it in your local registry 
So if you run now uh, pseudo space Docker space images, you see this apart from uh, all over world uh, uh, Docker image. So we have also have an image called Python, which we downloaded in this previous step. Now uh, two images are available. So I'm just going to run this command called ps, okay, which is going to list out the list of containers which is running. So uh, what is the command? sudo space uh, docker space ps. Uh, currently, I don't have any containers running, so it's giving empty. Now let's try to start the container. So how do you start the container? Basically, uh, how do you, when you, when you, run your image uh, the, the running instance of your image is called docker image is called docker container so i'm just running sudo uh, to run your image and there's a command called run so sudo space docker space run uh, iphone id is nothing but interactive mode okay so i'm giving the the image name as python so it is going to launch the uh, python cli because this image is for uh, python runtime so it is going to run so because we we pulled the latest one so the the latest uh, build came from the python version 3.8 okay so now the Py, this python container is running so in the other window i open uh, i open the other window and i am just typing the command called uh, sudo space uh, docker space ps which is going to show you the list of uh, running containers so this is the container which is running so in the previous uh, step we ran this uh, image so the container is running so that's what it is showing here. Okay. So this is how you can actually list the list of uh, running container in using this command. Now I'm going to exit out of this uh, the container. Okay. So I just put exit here. So then I came and typed the same command sudo or docker ps. Uh, this is nothing. No, this is I came out of the container. So it is just saying nothing is running. Now again uh, I will open and run this uh, um, docker container okay uh, the python docker image uh, in this one more window also i run this so there will be two containers running now so i'll run run the again uh, docker ps commands two containers running so if you want to stop the container you take the container id and use the command called stop so what is the command sudo space docker space stop followed by the docker id if you give uh, it the sorry, container id the the container will be stopped so if you see the PS, if you put, I did this G, uh, A3 uh, container got stopped. Okay. And also, uh, what is the, if you want to start the container, so basically you can pass the container ID and you can start the container. Okay. So uh, Docker space, uh, sudo space Docker space start and follow with the container ID, <coughs> which will start the container. Now, so now two containers start running. Okay. Now uh, there is a command called a status. Okay, stats. So Docker space uh, uh, um, stats. If you type like so, sudo space Docker space stats, it will give the stats of the running container. So basically, what is the memory utilization? What is the limit of memory? What is the CPU utilization and uh, network I/O and block I/O other stuff? <coughs> this uh, kind of handy command to know your the resource usage of the containers uh, whenever you want to run your application the container right so uh, the next uh, command is uh, uh, basically this command is so we added a comma uh, we added a image uh, uh, by using the pull command right we just we use the pull command to get the image so if I suppose it is added in our local registry suppose if you want to remove the image the uh, the docker image from your uh, local registry you can pass the rmi command so sudo space docker space rmi iphone f followed by python is the image name so that image got removed okay so now nothing uh, no containers running in my so no basically the python image is removed from uh, uh, my uh, uh, my my uh, uh, my docker so i just show you that so if you put uh, uh, basically uh, if you put the um, uh, the images it will actually show you sudo space docker uh, space images so i will have only the all over world images see the python do docker image got removed using the rmi command okay so these are the some of the uh, very frequently or commonly used uh, docker commands uh, in the docker engine um, so there are some other commands which you may use occasionally so whenever we start trying the new uh, 
containers when we start creating containers and uh, and deploying application and container we will we'll just go through those command also uh, i hope this video is helpful for you uh, i request you to uh, uh, subscribe my channel and click on the bell button to get uh, notification whenever i add new videos thank you so much friends uh, please watch my other playlist and uh, videos in my youtube channel uh, which which actually can uh, covers uh, any programming language and provide your feedback also thank you so much friends see you in the next video